I looked at my good friend Mary Beth and I said, I think I'm gonna propose to Jonathan right now. And she was like, what? Right now? Like right now? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, if I don't propose to him right now, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. The San Diego Pride Parade was happening and we were planning a trip out there, but honestly we didn't even realize that the Pride Parade was happening in conjunction with our trip. We ordered Chinese food to eat a quick lunch when we got in and <laughs> he's like, alright, I'll be right back, I think I forgot something in the store and I was like, okay, I'll hurry up and eat. And no, no, just go ahead and eat, I'll be right back. I didn't have the ring yet. I saw this ring and I, and I told the lady, I want that ring, bag it right now, here's my credit card, I need to get out of here. And I go back out like calm, put the ring in my back pocket. It was over, what, 200,000 200, people. people there for the parade and it was one of their biggest turnouts because of the military was going to be able to march mm -hmm. in that parade. Mm -hmm. I've been in the Navy for a long time living under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And this was the first time in history that military members were allowed to walk in their uniform in public. It was just an amazing moment. Like overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, like this is history. This is history, what we're doing right now. <laughs> Even leading up to this and trying to think about how I was gonna propose to him, I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be unique. I wanted it to be something he would never forget. And that's when I decided that in the middle of the parade, <laughs> I was gonna proposed to him and I just walked right up to him in the middle of the street and I'm like looking at him like what's going on are you what, are you okay do I need to go over there to take the picture <laughs> I got down on one knee this moment happened when they say that moment freezes in time it really does and it froze for me too like it was almost as if nobody else existed at this point and the sailors that we were walking with just kind of surrounded us and were jumping up and down and screaming. It was just really spectacular. sound really positive, you know, and and I was just kind of hoping and wishing that everything works out tonight. <laughs> and so I was like, I made a decision that as soon as he walks up, the first thing we're going to do is make a wish in this room. On our first date, we made wishes in the fountain at Jackson Square. And I said, close your eyes, make your wish, and throw the coin into the fountain. We have not shared that wish with each other until now. And that was our first moment of our first date. We made a wish in a fountain. My wish was that we both would find happiness in our lives even if this was our only date. Well, baby, my wish came true a long time ago. My dad's raised me since I was five years old. I didn't come out to my dad probably two years ago, two or three years ago. I was scared to tell my dad 
that I was gay. I was scared to come out to my dad. In life history, throughout the years, you've been experiencing good things, bad things, love, kindness. It's all a part of the book of life. I was just so down and he was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, nothing. He was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, nothing. And he looked at me and he said, what did I do in failing you? What did I do to fail in raising you to trust me? And I said, Dad, what are you talking about? He says, why can't you tell me that you're gay? Why can't you tell me how you want to live your life? What makes you happy? He's like, that's all I've ever wanted for you. You have placed certain things in each chapter and you will continue on to do the same. I am so proud of you for all that you have accomplished. With the deepness of my heart, with your mothers, everyone in here that loves you, supports you, we all give you our blessing to continue with your marriage and do not be afraid to call me for some advice. <laughs> and being committed to each other, but for other couples that aren't doing this yet, but now you guys are giving them the courage to do that. I'm proud to be a part of this. I love everyone. Cheers. Let's we'll all have a good time. Jonathan and Duane, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves together as husbands. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. The grooms may now kiss. Let me love you.